Welcome everybody. We're trying this brand new game, Early Access. The game is called Timberborn. It is about beavers who are taking over the world. Definitely a different perspective from uh, humans who have killed it from uh, pollutant. So they do everything eco-friendly it looks like. Well, let's get on into it and see how it is. Don't even get me started on the humans. They had it all. Fresh air, clean water. Now they're just a faint memory. And it's all of their own making. But we, my friend, are here to stay. For we are beavers. And we put our trust in timber. We take what is left of humanity for our own benefit. We have learned our lesson. We use what is born of the earth. We respect the nature's cycles. But we leave nothing to chance. Because we know the sun can burn the ground like fire. We work hard every day and every night. <clears throat> well, a beaver's got to rest sometime, right? We make Earth a home. For all the beavers. We are timberborn, and we are going to thrive. Alrighty, let's start a brand new game. We'll pick folk tales, the easy going but hard working folk tales, experts at farming. They respect nature and it rewards them with plenty. Wood, food, and comfort. Start off in nice old plains and uh, keep it on the one. What we like to call some, of course, drag. What else would we ever choose? Let's pause in, see ya. Kind of surrounds we got. got a little bit of water nice thing of blades looks like about right there it's dying guess the water keeps the land good which probably would keep it nice and cultivated we got different elevations Oh man, I, I couldn't even try to pronounce any of these names. Sanji? Shark Taylor? Oh man. So definitely got some interesting names right here. Alrighty, so the first thing we should probably work on is nice road. Go right around the center. Fort. And see what other things we got. We got dams. Already demolished trees. Which we can't build quite yet. Plants. So we can definitely start farming some things. I see some blueberries over here. Cutting down some trees. Well, they are beavers, so. Probably best to start cutting these trees right here get a road going up to her and then pick the wood pick the lumberjack and it looks like the blue is how far they can reach okay and we only have one two three four five six beavers so oh seven 
see in the top corner so we don't want to have too much we want to be having some of them get some food for us so it's nice and free um, food get yeah. another thing we're going to want is water we're going to have to drink Definitely don't want the beavers getting thirsty. Just burn the road down there, get a nice little pump going right here. Alrighty, so that gives us water, food, wood, metal, power. Science. Science sounds so good. Um, housing. Well, it would probably be good if they had some more to sleep. But let's get logging. Storage. And get a warehouse. Have them go. up on these water yeah not the best but better than nothing I was gonna need a water storage so for right now put those bad boys down also see that we have them work 16 hours a day that's a long time to work. Boy, two more beavers, get this stuff built a little quicker. And they're definitely getting to the food. So we can destroy this dam, which will allow water to go here. Should cultivate a little bit more there. Let's do it. I like how they have nice little uh, slopes to go up these elevations. The ruins, that's where we get our source of metal. Okay. There is not a slope. Miles build to it right now. Demolish is right here. A little bit more nice here. And then we're not going to collect anymore because they are full till we have our storage which apparently living inside so like 10 berries is not very many berries we put it down on this our him there so we can get some water next thing we should start building is uh some housing So, you know you can stack them right there with the stairs. So, if I go off one, I should be able to stack them with the stairs. Still got. We got eight adults now, so just one more, one more adult. Looks like they are tearing through this wood. That's good. Once they're done that, we can get this little bit of wood as well. Well, they got decorations, 
I don't see how a roof is a decoration, but hey, okay, it's a decoration. A few monuments, science, which we might want for research. Be able to unlock all these things right here. Plant trees and bushes from a forester. That that would be good. But not enough points. But hey, at least we're not thirsty anymore. Got 15 water, 2 wood, 180 food, plenty of food. We're doing really good there. Probably get rid of one of these. Oh, I should have probably paused it. It'd been a lot better than just getting rid of this and Sarah took the time to build it. Apparently, Sanji's all grown up. All grown up at the age of six. Hunger, the people will die. Thirst, they'll die. Sleep, no effect. So sleep doesn't matter. Shelter, 25% uh, life, living, expectancy. And uh, they walk a little faster. Depending on what kind of food you give them. Gives them strength, life expectancy, carrying speed. Some more old strength. Carrying speed again. Gives them good buffs. We got social life. We got, gives you fertility. Fertility, so that rooftop terrace. Campfires. Definitely. Definitely gonna need to build them. Statue. Well, it makes them work a little bit faster. And there it is right there. Roof. Gives them five percent more working because you know, having a good roof is apparently uh very motivating. And now my, my little beaver is a little homeless. I'll ramp that one up and ramp that up. And see if we can get them built. It says they need logs. And uh, beavers are doing as best they can. Now, I do know that a drought will be coming up eventually. And a drought is basically when this water goes bye bye and everything living dies along with it. So, since we are beavers, we can create a dam to be able to hold the water. We'll be able to get to that wood in a little bit. And it did push it up. Look at all that greenery from destroying that dam. Lovely. Houses only hold three, but hey, here's the start. And there it is. Dam. So, considering the elevation is the same all the way to here. We want to build a dam right around here for a drop elevation. So we hold all the nice water here. So at least we got three people sleeping in a nice house. More expectancy of their life. Looks like they're hungry. But they have 150 food. Oh, it's probably because they're working 18 hours a day. We'll cut that back to 16. get a few more lumberjack people. Those people are doing pretty good for their ads. So it would be best put a lumberjack there. And then right there to be able to get the rest of the wood.
I said they're not really stockpiling much wood anyway. And we're at another adults now, so we've thrown up another adult. Also oh, pretty good wall. Yeah, Lumber Jack just got built, but no, nope, we do have somebody for it. And they should be cutting those trees down there. Look at that. Now these trees looks like they got a little shine to them. So you can get logs and some pine resin. Not too sure about pine resins, what it does or anything, but we will figure that out. And I'm guessing since these trees here are on the dead zone, they died out. <laughs> yep, it died. These are watered since they're so close to the water source. However, that tree right there. Looks like it's on the dead lane, it's still somehow living. These are the bushes. Oh, birch. I'm gonna get one log from the birch. The pine tree gives you two logs. So, depending on the type of tree, depends on how many logs you can get. So, when they're alive, you get nine from the birch, twelve from the pine. 30 for maple, 24 for chestnut, however, looks like you get chestnuts. Maple syrup, pine, so you need a little bit of everything. We can even grow berries. Remember correctly, berries actually wasn't in here. Carrots, grilled potato, bear, no. No berries. So I don't know why you want to put berries, but if you want to, I guess you can. Right now we're sitting at a whopping 15 technology. Slowly getting there. It looks like it takes 10 wood and 7 planks make a forester so we're gonna have to make a lumber mill first. Lumber mill needs 50 electricity so if we put this out here take road straight off the list to here then go to our science nope oh, not science, power. Power wheel, and then we have water. Water does 90, so definitely want that. But is it going to pick anything up right there? It might have to be right here. Elevation is a little bit too low, and we don't have enough research. So, I think what we're gonna do is get rid of these since beavers ain't gonna be able to build it. I'll have to hope that that catches. Put the priority up a little bit so we can get built a little bit quicker. I have a little bit of wood in here. Looks like having four beavers cut wood is the key. Have you noticed these roads are changing color the further it goes? So it looks like, say, I select here. My guy who transports goods between the warehouse, which would be this little wood place. If you had to have the wood place go out here where it's red, he's probably not going to walk that far. Same with this guy. Since it's yellow, he should be good. 
but we shall see. Also, we shall see if this gets built me up. It's built right there. Which is pretty good. I think the place is uh, coming along pretty nice. At least I got somewhere to sleep now. Right here we got one unemployed person, which we can fix. Right there. And we have one last spot for someone to live at in our house. There's actually that one right there. So we're pretty good with the living quarters. Water looking good, food's looking good. It's actually nice the tanks top off. We can start making some logs. I mean not logs, uh plywood. Or lumber, whichever would be considered. And we could build a forester. Forester allows us to plant some trees, which at the moment we're kinda killing off. So yeah, we definitely would like to plant some trees on the more sooner end. Kind of chop all the trees off. Uh, we ain't gonna be able to build anymore. Can't build. Our people are gonna eventually die off. Can't build. I'm not gonna be able to make it. Mm. That would not be so good. Kind of looking forward to building that right there. Hopefully it captures all the water. I'll probably get rid of this one, but I'll keep it there anyway. And it looks like we could build a little roadway too. So that way our people can start cultivating this little bit of land. I kind of like their names. They're definitely unique. Every single one's different. It's not like there's just a Bob, a Joe, and a Billy every single time. It's completely different. Looks like they're just about done building the water wheel. And we can get a little bit of electricity. Hopefully it spins. It looks like the water is running that way, so we should be in luck. And it worked. That is great. And it says it's making about 100 horsepower. Oh, 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 she going downhill. She's going downhill pretty bad. 90? Oh man. How much was this supposed to make? 90? Okay, okay. It's not going too bad. It's staying at 100. Apparently the current just picked up for that second. No. So with them making planks, I can do the forester. But I'm still waiting for research. Oh, nope. Nope, we are in the green. We are good to go. So where would I like to plant a forester so we can get the maximum amount of trees? Because this could be our farming area to get our food. This would be our living area. This right here could be potentially our tree area. You have to think, because when this dam holds the water, it could probably get up to here, but everything else would die off. Not unless we build another dam somewhere down here. That's most likely is not going to happen soon. I think we could get rid of this resource. Let's see. Yes, we can. I know it seems like waste, but I kind of 
can't wait to build this thing. Probably come back to me. I need nine more wood. Could have been that tree right there, but I think we can live without it. Goodbye to the little sap. Oh, no, no. Almost misplaced it right there. Still got plenty of logs. Looks like we do need somebody. So, take him off. He can start working to make the planks, which then will help me build the forester. Now that we have wood covered, the next part would be food. We got carrots, potatoes, and wheat. Wheat is probably going to need a second process, which would be the aqua farmhouse. Employees specialized farmers that plant and harvest aqua crops. So. That's pretty cool, it goes in the water. And that looks like it can grill two things that would be in water and potatoes. But there it is. That would process the, the wheat. And then that would probably make bread. Yep, it makes bread. So we're definitely gonna hold off on the wheat. Carrots is a pretty good one. There's also a nice looking boost when it comes to the carrots. And uh, we'll keep it to, to the minimum right now. Just a little bit of crops. So as you need 50 horse, these things make 90 horse. That is pretty good. The research is up to 50, so maybe we can get Ladder? No. Almost cut the ladder. We're just not quite there yet. Man, I do like it in uh, a little bit of a quick speed. Looks like they're running. Looks like we're getting more done quicker. I can imagine if I kept it in a regular speed, it'd still be a uh, Building houses, probably. Man, look how fast they are moving. Give me one water every 33% of an hour, so that means in one hour I get three water. Since I only have 11 adults. Ooh, that's not good. It looks like I'm actually pretty maxed. Was thinking about doing this, and hopefully have steps unlocked by the time they can build these. One more plank, and we'll be able to uh, start growing some trees. I mean, we got a little bit of forest left right there, but we uh pretty much demolished most of the land. This part of the land looks pretty good. I don't even think we started on the dam. I haven't even started on the dam. Awesome. It is officially built. So, we can now Probably tidy this up a little bit better looking. And we're going to kill those two trees right there. That way we can do a little nice little path like that. We can also kill that tree and that tree. But where do we plant? Plant crops, plant trees. Okay, so birch don't give that much. Maple definitely gives us quite a bit. You are good to hear, so click maple. 
probably get you right about there. Perfect. So we know we're perfect. I went on down a little bit. Up a little bit, put a little bit of pine and about here. So about here. So that way we'll have pine, which only takes uh, a few days to grow. Is that 12? Where these take 30 to grow. And it also gives us a little bit of meat. Lastly, we got the chestnut ones. We might want to connect the road before he puts a tree there. Another thing looking bad is uh, our guys are starving. <laughs> Didn't even notice our people are starving. That's very good. So if we take you away, hopefully, yep, you can go in here. Perfect. And your priority is going to be harvesting, of course, we are definitely going to need food. Planks definitely need food, and luckily he went right there, so it's good. But let's get some trees planted. Food's gonna take a little bit of time, and it looks like he almost got most of it planted. I guess I can also plant some potatoes because they have a boost as well. don't know if it's going to grow so good up in this corner right here, but we shall see. Since our research is looking good, we can finally get some steps, so our new members are going to be homeless. I think that looks nice stacking it you know, like that. And if we really wanted to, we could have pushed it back one more, or we can flip it and do something like this. Two little places to eat, and let's see if we can get some entertainment. Looks perfect. Put a platform. Oh, no platform. Well, right, we're gonna need a platform to be able to do what we're doing. Hunter signs. Well, that's gonna be a little bit of ways. Unconnected building. Well, we're not connected quite yet, but you will be. Black workers. Oh man. Nobody unemployed? Well, that's good. You don't want to un unemployed people. That might be a problem. Let's see how she stops here for where he can see to start cutting down trees. However, he's playing trees way past it. We have to put a hand over here to be able to collect everything, and they're still hungry. Ooh, hopefully our beavers uh, don't starve to death. That's paused. That guy's planting trees for the future. We got one marker there. Science. Ooh, eight adults. Why do eight adults died of hunger 
died of hunger. Died of hunger. Died of hunger. Oh man. So we're gonna put Pauls on the lumberjacks. And just keep one lumberjack. Hopefully. Man, we're down seven people. Hope we don't kill the civilization and end the video this quick. That'd be a pretty bad let's go. Oh, three days we're going to drought. Oh man, I don't know. We we still need to get our food going. Man. What if we did this? We took the road, brought it out to here, took the food guy and had him salvage some food well out here. That's a priority, definitely. And we pause him. Oh, we just lost him. We didn't even get a pause and we died. Oh, man. So we got one in the water. One forest and He kind of got plant these trees. But we need food. So what do we do? The trees ain't no good if our people are dead. Hopefully he comes over here. No, no, no. Go, go get us some food immediately. There you go. Go get some berries. I'm sure you want to eat those berries on your way. Oh, nope. You're just going to give them to everybody else. Well, he's a, he's a trooper. He ended up dying instead of uh, feeding himself. It's a sad day, he died to get everybody else food. We're down to five beavers. Oh, we can pause these. They put in the research if our people are dead. So that should give them and them. And I believe he did collect us a little bit of food. Yes, we do still have hungry people, but not everybody's hungry. I think he had at least four berries before he died. Hopefully. I'm gonna change this to 150. Man. It's definitely hard to rebuild up once your uh, beaver start dying off. That's good. I seen you. You grabbed that food so quick. <laughs> you can't even try to be sly about it, man. You just you took it. Took it and ran. What? what? Did he just... Oh, he's taking it real quick. Okay, so he's just moving resources now. This guy's collecting berries and I don't know what. He is going to save our five beavers and our little child. It looks like the child doesn't even need anything to eat. We got shelter, which is good. And yeah, he does need some eat. Okay. So children do matter. One and a half days. We don't have no food. Definitely got some wood, but we do not have any food. And this hasn't even began to start. This is going to be a struggle, this first uh, drought. So, uh, if you ever want to try to play this game, definitely uh, keep in mind your food resource. If you're having them do berries, berries, uh, once they're picked, it takes a while to come back. Once they're back, it's they're nice and good to go, but... Cool. 
castle, then you're a burialist. Looks like he can reach all those berries, which is good. Hopefully they can uh, start ro uh, reproducing and make some children. Might get a little something going. Alrighty, so we have one there, one there, and one there. We got three people out of five for food, one in building, and one in water. Which the one building isn't building. So it's too far from the builders. Okay, so what we're about to do is put a road. I don't know if that would be a good looking road. What if we did a road like this and like that? And then when that tree gets chopped, oh, it's actually close enough right now. That is good. Give our builder guy a little something to do. We still only have one child. He is the miracle child. He is the future. My hope is running on this one child. But hey, at least he has plenty of uh, berries to eat. Now I know somebody's watching this like, man, I was looking at that food, I saw it was at zero, and just watched your guys die off. Boom, died of hunger. Hunger, hunger. Man, that's right when this guy was born, right when everybody was dying. So the first route, half a day, by cycle one, day four, 15, I don't know, it looks, probably goes into 14 day cycle, we might go on 30, but by the end of the day, we're not going to have any water, we shall see what happens. Water shouldn't be an issue considering that they already are uh, restocked on food and the carrots are finally popping. Yes to carrots. Next thing we need is just them to start populating and uh, be good to go again. Maybe, uh, maybe they need more happiness. Looks like happiness is starting to go up on the carrots. I know the carrots gave them a bonus. What is that? Life expectancy. So they're going to live a little bit longer with these carrots. So carrots are definitely good. Unlike berries, I'm going to end up deleting this little patch right here and making it all carrots. Kind of like how that has a nice potato and that actually grew pretty good. I didn't know how it would grow since it's towards the death. Oh, drought has started. It's going to last two days, so if we follow the water, you should notice, oh yeah, starting to go. Look at that water just go. And right behind it is just death and destruction. Oh, look at that, changing the trees, the berries. Oh man, that's our trees. Oh, is he still going to be able to collect it? Yes, but it will die in two days, which luckily, that's a day in it. Eighth, we should be good. The water should return right before it dies. The trees look like they're a little bit more hardy. Man, this lake is uh, not drying up. It's pretty good. Come on, people. I know you guys want kids. I definitely know he wants some kids. Let's see if we can't speed this up a little bit more. So we 
maybe with this extra extra speed we can rebuild our dead and dying culture well look at this your beavers are happier than ever well they done killed their family and friends off that's kind of it's kind of sad that they're happier than ever you have reached a new well-being high score so what is the goal ah it's because the carrots the carrots has made them happier so wait until they get some grilled potatoes they're really gonna be excited but the problem is we don't have no people to grill the potatoes and another problem that's going to come is this warehouse. It's going to become over full with food. Not a bad thing, but only 200. So, I'm getting kind of close to full. That is true. Probably relax on the gathering person. Since there's only six beavers eating. And uh, hopefully we can get him to go. Oh, where did he go? You went here. You do not need him. But now we can start collecting wood again. And if we go to storage, maybe we can take this. And yes, we can stack it. Take your steps. Build them like that. Maximizing our space. So they got a little door in the front and a little thing on the back. This looks nice. We would say stack this, but it says ground only. Kind of like this right here. It said above ground. And look at that. Our water has returned. Oh, look at that. It looks actually pretty nice. She's returning quick. Restoring life to our lifeless land. We have six adults now, which is pretty good. We can start uh, unpausing some things. Hopefully those six can breed up. Start taking these uh, job offers we got. I would unpause this long guy, but I wouldn't mind some of these trees growing up. It's 94%. So maybe by the time we have a work available, they'll be good. Now we just sit back and uh, hope and pray that our. We don't have six males. <laughs> they were all males. We uh, we definitely would be in some trouble. One thing I do like is how. Uh, how they designed it. It's all about beavers, and uh, you already know beavers are all known for wood and dams. And if you look at the buildings, they're you know, all wooden structures. So they definitely made it so it's nothing like man made. I mean, I don't even think they got doors in their houses, unless that's a door and don't look like it, though. Because, you know, why would a beaver need a door? They definitely need windows, but why would they need doors? One thing I wouldn't mind knowing is these things. Scarecrows, rooftops. We saw the rooftops actually make them work a little bit faster. That says it's a 1x2. Yep, we can unlock it and it can go right there. So, having that, it gives us a little area looks like a one two three four four by three area and it's right outside their house so those two right there anybody goes in there there's six beavers and yep they'll have to uh they'll have to work faster i guess <laughs> this being a two four six 
We need a 2x3. But not enough research for all that. Or we shall wait. The recipe select. Oh, okay, so we gotta select a recipe uh, for these beavers. Well, B is grilled potatoes since we have uh, potatoes over here growing. Where are the other recipes? Grilled chestnuts. Oh, we can get that from our trees. And uh, grilled splatter dock. I'm guessing that was the uh, water aqua thing was mentioned earlier. And speaking of aqua, oh, we can now build our road all the way to this, which then we can put a road right there and a little thing right there. Okay, that is awesome. So that way our beavers can come down into the water. Water source is still looking good. Our food is still plentiful. Looks like actually, yep, the food that is good. God is good. No research whatsoever. <laughs> the wood is flickering back and forth, so I'm guessing they're building as fast as uh as fast as they can. Oh, and look at that. We got a new baby. Wonder if it could show us a little bit more. Mm, that beaver's 10 years old. Don't know if that's the baby. Nope. Apparently 10 years old. You're not a kid anymore. You're a worker. <laughs> well, there goes our baby. You were a miracle child. We came after the family, the Irish potato family. Hopefully, since day one out of eleven, so I'm guessing that's cycle one, day eleven. Nobody else dies of hunger. Hopefully. That being said, it looks like the cycles is the years, and days only count up to 14, or the cycles could be the months. And the days I noticed only go up to 14, and then it starts a new cycle. That's a pretty cool looking fire right there. It makes no sense is on some games like this, if you see a fire, then you know this building is burning wood to keep these people warm. But it doesn't look like it's consuming anything. Just like this, looks like it takes potatoes and logs to make grilled potatoes. And this one took logs to make planks. This one just somehow makes fire. Just, just magically makes fire. Okay. Slowly coming back on life. Hopefully on the next episode uh, we don't kill off all of our population down to the last four people. And we can uh, have a nice civilization and start going through a little bit more uh, fancier things like large warehouses, underground warehouse. That, that should be nice actually. Looks like it takes some gears. Which would be this. No. I don't I don't even know. But we'll figure that out. Builders hut employs additional builders, extends its range. So it extends that range right there. Hauling post allows you to haul things. Oh that's actually nice, because then if it's hauling things from district, then it would be uh, moving resources a lot quicker. Like taking water to here to there. And it'll be able to hold more instead of right now having my idle beaver, hot uh, beaver, do it. Who can't? He doesn't have the strength. Housing looks like you can get a few different types. Triple R lodge, which holds nine, versus my current one that holds three. And uh, that's just different angle. This one holds only one, so yes, it definitely is a miniature one. Don't 
don't really truly understand why we want one, but I guess it's to fill in a little space like that. Different types of water, you got a water dampener, so it discharges water. And that being said, you might be able to uh, discharge water into a whole area to be able to bring this to life. And I think I saw over here you get dynamite, so maybe you can make a hole and damp uh, throw water from the water dampener in there and it brings all this to life. But there's an irrigation tower which irrigates the land, so I mean if, if that does the same thing. I don't know. I'd think an irrigation tower would probably be a little bit more uh, efficient than blowing up in uh, dome water. And you get a gauge, the stream gauge tells you the amount of water, so if I put that in here, ooh, and they are building the dam. Finally they are building the dam. This next drought is not going to hurt us, it looks like they can get it filled in time, hopefully. But I can put the meter here and it will tell me that the water level is 1, 2, 3, or 4, whatever it may be. Where over here, could be higher. If we dam off this area, somewhere down here, probably right there. Yep, it'd be right there if we dammed that off, or put a levee, I mean. We could raise the water level to flush. Problem is, is low areas like this would be underwater then. And uh, there's a lot of area that would be underwater. So maybe we use dynamite and blow this up, drop it down. Um, let's look through a few other things. That should be all of them. A mechanical water pump. It discharges. Uh, because it say pumps water up on one side but discharges it on the other. So I can discharge water over my wall. When it comes to food, we can get that aqua farmhouse. We're definitely doing that next time. And uh, farming up this open land. Good thing about this water is the dam's going to keep it in. And the water is uh, definitely going to keep it alive. But we might be able to make a few other things like a bakery or a beehive. Boost the growth of nearby crops. That's actually pretty good right there. I'll just go a little faster. We can make paper. We can make books. We can do a little, a little hut that would give us maple syrup and pine. And even a little wood shop. We can have a little thing for metal. We got a little smelter and a little mine. It's pretty neat and a little scavenger flag. Electricity we get wind, which is nice, and then a high power shaft probably lets us go on different floor levels. So like from this floor to this floor, back to this. Hopefully we don't bring electricity into the water, but you know. You get an observatory, you get ten research an hour just about. Or this, we get three for three hours. So we get one an hour versus ten an hour. That's actually pretty good, but it takes electricity. Leisure, oh yes, we definitely get into this leisure. We can actually build a campfire right now. Let's make my people happier, and it fits perfect right there. Campfire, I believe, should be able to access. Let's find a beaver. This 52, 52 year old beaver, perfect. The campfire, we get 25% more fertility, so yes. Yes, we definitely need fertility. We still only got six adult beavers. So maybe it would do something like this roof I and mean, gives us a certain area, or maybe they have to walk up to it and they can only hold so many people. This rooftop terrace also does a little something, which is nice. He is just a building. One thing we can do with him is high priority all of that. So we can make, say, this a medium and this a medium. Oh, I guess we don't want that to be a medium because we can't do anything with it. Well, we can make these a medium. Nope, and a drought is coming in three days. And you notice the water is starting to shift around the dam. 
So I don't think it's going to overflow. I think the dam does allow some water to go through, blocks water, but allows some to pass. So yeah, it shouldn't overflow. It is pretty cool how the waves look. But definitely going to leisure and definitely get some of these decorations. Don't know if a bench does anything with the shrub. You can see it says it does something. The roof does something. Everything. Oh, pick a fence though. Nor does the log fence or the metal one. Monuments do a little something. So, next episode, uh, we'll see where this trout gets us. And uh, hopefully, we have more to. Oh, another child. But hopefully, we can have a population of at least 50, I'm hoping for. Because we definitely can build a pretty big city right here. Right here. Well, that caught it night for uh, episode one of our Let's Play.